welcome to this week's episode of Tipperary County Matters. As always, we have a fantastic lineup for you. First up, we take a trip to Feathered and meet members of the Feathered Business and Tourism Group to hear about their new project involving the Thalso. We celebrate 60 years of the Irish Farmers Association as they commemorate the late TJ Maher and reenact the Farmer's Walk of 1966 with the Ardmail Heritage Society. And we join the new recruits of 2015 at their passing out parade in Templemore Garda College. Feathered is a small town situated in Tipperary and like many other rural towns and villages, it has really suffered following the recession. So in an attempt to bring more visitors and businesses to the town, the Feathered Business and Tourism Group was established to promote Feathered. So this week, along with members of the group, we took a trip around the medieval town that is Feathered. Featherton Tourism Group got together as a group to promote business and tourism in Feathered. I suppose different times uh, business has deteriorated but Feathered is a thriving town and plenty of potential. It has great community spirit and we felt as a business and tourism group that we could do something to help Feathered grow into the future from a business point of view and specifically from a tourism point of view. We're a group of local business people, local people that have an interest in tourism and we want to drive Feathered forward as a, an interesting place to come and visit, an interesting place to do business in. I got involved in the project about five years ago. Um, I'm also on the community council and we have a great bunch of people that involved in Feathered and we saw the same as no different from any other town in the country, a rural town in the country. Everybody was suffering, all these rural towns were suffering as a result of the recession. We formed a feathered business and tourism group here in the town with the view to seeing could we attract more tourists into Feathered. We're ideally placed in the middle of a medieval hub between Cashel, Kerr, Kilkenny. But a lot of them were bypassing Feathered. So we said we set out the aim was to get as many people as we could to stop off in Feathered. So what we, could we produce for them or have for them here in Feathered if they were to come through the town? So it took uh, many meetings and lots of hours and eventually we came up with the idea that we have a magnificent building here called the Tholstal Building. I've said already it dates back 400 years and it was lying derelict and it was ready to fall down. And uh, we embarked on um, a mission to restore this building. The town hall, uh, the th also known as the Tholstal, dates from the early 1600s. There's a major project going on in Feathered focusing on the Tholstal. And why it's so important is because it, it's such a, such a unique building. Uh, when you look at it, you can see it's, it's very, very impressive. It's comparable to Roth House in Kilkenny, dating from the same period. And the ongoing work is focusing on those. And so it is the ideal um, centre, of course, for a tourism hub in Feathered. And I suppose if you look at it, it, it makes perfect sense that Feathered would be part of the medieval trail that comes from Kilkenny to Cashel. And again, we're part of that period of history. The location of the town hall on the main, on the main street makes it a natural focus. We saw the necessity to get something done in Feathered, to bring Feathered back to its former glory. We did a lot of research and we did a lot of, of brainstorming and eventually we came up with the idea that we've more, that Feathers has more to offer than most rural towns and we weren't tapping into that. We have a fabulous um, walled network around the town. It's one of the best in the country, if not further afield. And we said, let's see what we can do with that and get tourism started. Feathered's main claim to fame is that it's now recognised as the finest example of a small medieval walled town in Ireland. It's a medieval town, dates from the early 1200s. Uh, some things, we, we know a lot about, I suppose, the, the fabric of the town speaks for itself. Um, we have the, 
the Tatan Wall, of course, you know, uh, which the, the first chart of which was given in 1292. Then you have this church, Holy Trinity Church, and of course this is one of the earliest buildings, again dating from the 1200s. Uh, in 1305 then the Augustinian Abbey, and uh, of course we have the mural towers within the town wall as well. And I suppose we're particularly lucky in Feathered in that so much of our medieval fabric is still standing, still very accessible. Um, the town wall is practically c uh, complete. And, and most of it is accessible by walking, which is fantastic, you know, so we're very lucky in that respect. Tourism is so important to Feathered, but Feathered is so important to tourism as well. We're uniquely positioned, we're in a midpoint between Kilkenny and Cashel, which are both central tourism spots. They've launched recently the new Irish Ancient Way, which runs down along the east coast, connecting Kilkenny to Cashel, and we are uniquely positioned to avail of that. Board Fulcher have a new initiative, it's called Ancient East, and just as when they developed the, the Wild Atlantic Way that did so much for the west of Ireland and that whole coast, now they're focusing on the Ancient East and focusing on the treasures, the historic treasures of Ireland and the eastern counties. And they have already mentioned, of course, Kilkenny and Cashel. And of course, Feathered is a perfect link because we are literally on that old medieval route between Kilkenny and Cashel. So we would see Feathered very much playing a part of that. And we look forward, hopefully, to being a part of it. We're very lucky here in Feather to have Feather Tulsa. It's a unique central point to the town. It was back through the ages an alms house, it was the town hall, it was the library. It, it was multifunctional, but now it has become the central tourist point for Feathered. You, you drive through Feather now, and the whole vista, the whole medieval town will open up through this Tulsa. Feather is important because it's a medieval town but a town only exists as a place where people live and prosper. And so our focus also has to be making Feathered a sustainable entity. And I would see that this project is a major factor in making that happen. It's a great possibility for the future. It offers huge potential and we're very, very excited about it. We're really excited now. We're um, facing into first phase completion in the, hopefully in the near future and we got funding from leader group we've also got funding from the Tipperary county council we've got some private funding as well um, we have a wonderful community at, uh, atmosphere here in the town there's a great amount going on in various uh, aspects and everybody looks after their own but for this everybody has come together and it's fronted by the feathered business and tourism group under the auspices of the community council but there are all walks of uh, people from all walks of life involved and um, it's a great little group very enthusiastic and very energetic it has taken a lot of time to get it to where it is today but um, it's been very well received and they're now starting to see what it actually can be and people are getting more energetic as a result this Tulsa will generate business tourism to the town but also it will enrich the county Tipperary as a whole. We hope and we pray that people will come and visit our town and see how unique it is from every point of view. Um, once this happens, then other things will happen, such as accommodation. So it has huge potential for all businesses in Feathered and the surrounding areas. We'd love to be able to say we had a completion date in mind, but going on the past, <laughs> how long it's taken us to get to here, it's taken us five years to get to this stage. I would be confident it won't take as long to get to the next phase. We now have momentum in our favour and I think everybody is keen to get this to completion and get going. We're going to put Feathered on the map and you will now say that if you're going someplace and you arrive in Dublin or Shannon or Cork, you will, somebody's going to tell you that you need to go to Feathered. We'll be the same as Killarney, Clifton, wherever, Kilkenny or Dublin. We'll, you'll want to come to Feather. When we're finished this project, it will be iconic. We have a great asset here and we're going to make the best of it. The future of Feather, if this project is as successful as we're dreaming, 
we think that this could revive Feathered into former glory. It, it's lots, lots of various things will grow from this. We will have, hopefully there'll be a need for more restaurants in the town, hopefully there'll be a need for more bed and breakfast, um, guest house accommodation, um, all the, the shops in the town will prosper again. That's the aim and that's what we hope we will achieve by getting this project off the ground. A tourism hub would be of huge benefit for the locals because um, the town hall itself is a natural focus being on the main street. It's such an impressive building. I mean, you can't but notice it. And then, of course, if you have a tourism hub, somewhere for people to come, somewhere for them to learn about Feathered. It gives a natural access into the precincts of Holy Trinity and the whole medieval fabric of Feathered. Obviously, it'll bring jobs. It'll be opportunities for people within the town itself. And I, I firmly believe that if we can link in to all of the initiatives, initiatives that are going on at the moment, you know, in tourism, um, Feathered has a great future.